Hello everyone and welcome. In this video I'm going to be taking a look at the handwriting experience on the new 6th generation iPad mini. Now as you can see this iPad mini has been redesigned and it picks up a design similar to the iPad Air and iPad Pro. So we've got these flat slab sided edges and as a result of that we now use the second generation Apple Pencil with it as opposed to the first generation Apple Pencil that the previous generation iPad mini supported and what this means is that straight away we can just snap the pencil on the top of the iPad where it can stay it, it's, it will stay there if you kind of shake the iPad about it's very secure and obviously it also charges and that's how you pair the pencil with the iPad for the first time. In terms of actually using the iPad for handwriting there are a few ways you can do it obviously the most obvious way is using the built-in Apple Notes app and you can initiate that in a few ways. You can obviously open the Notes app using the app icon in the traditional way or you can use a new iPad OS 15 feature which is Quick Notes. So if I take the pencil or my finger you can use either of them and just swipe in from the bottom right. I have now got a Quick Notes open and this allows me to just uh, select whatever tools I want from the bottom. I can change the colour of my pen. It allows me to just write uh, straight onto the quick note and then when I'm done I can just hit done and that now disappears and it's stored into the notes app and let me launch into the full Apple notes experience and I've got a note open up over here and I'm just going to drag these tools to the bottom and if I lay the iPad flat I can just go ahead and write so I'll just do something uh, iPad mini handwriting my handwriting is a bit messy at the moment. Handwriting demo. So you can see we can write straight away just like we've been able to do previously with other iPads that support the Apple Pencil. Now in terms of the size, as you can see my hand is covering most of the screen whilst doing this, but the, the actual size of the iPad itself is very similar to an A5 notebook that you might carry around or, or a small sketchbook. So it is quite a nice size and it is nice to be able to hold this in one hand compared to something like the iPad Pro where you wouldn't really want to carry it around as much and, and it would be a lot more cumbersome to hold and handwrite in your hand and you'd probably want to put an iPad that size on a table and write. Whereas this is nice to just pick up and use in your hand whilst writing. And obviously being an iPad you have split screen multitasking capabilities and if I just use the shelf at the top and launch into that. I'll just open a Safari uh, tab here and I'll just drag this back round to this side to make it easier for me to reach. Now when I'm in split view there is obviously a lot less space to write on um, because you've now only got half the screen and it is a bit less usable in this mode. However, it is still usable and if you've got small hands, perhaps you've got a child using this to handwrite, they might be perfectly fine with that. Or if you're used to writing on small pieces of paper, maybe you write on post-it notes a lot or you use a small notebook, then this will be just fine for you. However, one thing to note is that in this mode you are probably going to end up with your palm actually not resting on the iPad itself but on the table service and it could also rest on this edge over here. So if I want to write, you can see my palm is actually sitting on the edge, which may or may not be comfortable for you, depending on, on whether or not you find this edge sharp. The, sh the edge isn't actually sharp. It has got a slight sort of curve to the aluminium around the perimeter. But that is something to note that you, you might not be able to fit your hand fully when you're using it in this mode. Obviously, if you're left-handed, you, you, you will be able to rest your hand on the iPad screen, but then you'll be covering the other... Um, multitasking window that you're looking at and I guess if you're right-handed you can just move the notes window to the other side but then again you've got the same problem where you are you're blocking whatever is over here so that is something to take into consideration if you're going to be handwriting in multitasking view on the iPad often now I'm demonstrating the notes app at the moment but obviously there are a whole load of third-party apps that offer handwriting functionality one of those is notability which is a very popular one and Notability works just fine on this iPad, um, just like on any other iPad you can do any sort of handwriting and it's nice and smooth and Notability is a very popular app for um, students who like to use it. It's got some great features such as the ability to record audio and have it play back in real time with the handwriting animating, so that's a nice feature. You can export uh, your notes as PDFs, 
and you've got a whole load of different options in terms of your pen colours, thicknesses and that sort of thing. So it's a great option for students. You've also got an app like PDF Expert which is going to be for annotating PDFs or even signing them. Um, I've just got a blank PDF open here and you can use it just for standard sort of handwriting if you want to or creating notes. You've got annotation options here so you can highlight the text and it will actually recognize the text and highlight just around the text which is really nice. You've got your shapes here so you can go in and you can choose any sort of shape you want to do. You can change the border styles, that sort of thing. And you can also sign so you can go in here and you can create signatures and save them and automatically put them in if you've got a lot of PDFs to sign for example. And you can also edit PDFs which is a really nice feature on this app. So you can it will actually read the text and allow you to edit a PDF which is something that obviously not a lot of applications can do but PDF Expert has that ability so it's obviously something that will be useful to a lot of people. One thing to note is that the iPad mini does not have the ProMotion display of the iPad Pros and what this means is that the pencil latency, so that's the slight lag between when you actually write something and when it appears on the screen will be slightly more than the iPad Pro. Now you may not notice this at all and in fact if you're just going to be handwriting you won't be able to notice it really at all. Um, I can't notice it and I use an iPad Pro with a ProMotion display and I can't tell the difference really in terms of handwriting latency. You'll only really notice it if you're doing long straight lines where you will be able to see a slight um, lag between the line appearing on the screen and when you've drawn it with the pencil but it's really not something to be worried about. I wouldn't really take that into too much consideration when you're deciding between which iPad to buy. Um, it's still a really good writing experience on this iPad mini and it's nothing to be concerned about. But anyway, that's it for this video. If you found this video helpful, then do give it a thumbs up. And please also remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.